Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Michelle, uh, otherwise known as Geeky Girl. And um, it's kind of dark in here. It's because our two or two to three of the lights are out and we haven't changed them yet. It's been a busy week. Um, going to a Tattoo Mark Estate sale today. Uh, I'm going to drive about 35 minutes, 40 minutes west, I guess you would say, to Cat City. Cathedral City is the, the true full name. Um, has a massive one. Um, Someone's trying to get through the door. Has a massive estate sale in C Cathedral City Cove um, today. The, I don't know, I, I hope I have enough memory on this. It's a 6,000 square foot home full of stuff. Now this is the second day, which is normally when I go. I don't know what's gonna be left, but there's so much stuff. There's gotta be something worth flipping. So I'm gonna take you along. Um, it's been a while since I've been doing a state sale, probably not in the videos because I'm filming this as I'm still putting up my vacation videos for, to Alaska. But by the time I put this up, it's probably gonna be fall. Um, but uh, I do like, I know you guys like to see um, the state sale content because I find a lot of cool treasures. But anyways, let's get going. I got a drive ahead of me. Is it okay to start yeah, going through? Right. Okay, yeah. I'm sure. Look how the go goes. There was laser discs, but that's in here. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, it's a bear collection. Yeah, it's good. Wow. You weren't kidding. <laughs> I bet. I guess we'll just start making a circle and find stuff. Hey everybody, it's future Michelle here. <laughs> One thing about Tattoo Mark sales, he he almost always has great music blasting during it. And I would I would actually have you guys listen, except, you know, copyright strike. So, gotta overdub here and there. And this, this particular video is gonna be full of little short ones. Right now they're blasting the Go-Go's. <laughs> so I'm checking out the hat. And that is vintage, and I did end up picking that one up. But most of them were pretty worn and specific to a, like, a cl one club in San Francisco or something like that. And this one supposedly has a ton of t-shirts. It's very dark in this room, but it looked like it's been, it, it was just gone through. But clearly, I could still find some things. A lot of club stuff, probably all from San Francisco. One in particular called the Lone Star. That one made me laugh. That made me realize that I was in one, um, there was probably a couple of gay men, and one of them was a bear. <laughs> Definitely a niche audience uh, when it comes to actually selling these shirts. <laughs> Fine. Gibraltar. That looks... That's a club, I think. Well, when it comes to resale, uh, some of these shirts are very specific to a certain audience, so I didn't pick up everything. I did pick up some stuff, like that shirt I definitely picked up. And that's an interesting Christmas car theme thing. Pick that one up. That's an end construction. We'll whip your house into shape. <laughs> I passed on that one. <laughs> I did find a couple of Russell blanks, and I did pick those up. They're, they're vintage.
That was neat, but it was an old navy piece, so nothing really extra special, so I put that aside. I heard they had some t-shirts with a VW theme, but I couldn't find any. I think those went the first day. I'm looking still, though. Oh, there's a magnificent painting in the upper right corner. Darn. Hopefully I turn and get that in there. It's a topless man who's very hairy. <laughs> feel. It wasn't vintage, but I still picked that one up. like estate sale um, videos click like for me I have no idea what your favorites are garage sales estate sales and my favorite to shop are estate sales because you always find something crazy for the right price sometimes it can be a challenge but there's that painting that's a manly hairy man <laughs> uh, I'm checking out more hats but these things were pretty more than a lot I almost picked this up, but it didn't feel very good quality, so it was probably new and and it was in rough shape too. Oh, the shoes were cool, but they were really beat. So passed on it. That I think was something from Big Bear, like Lazy Bear Restaurant. I did end up picking that one up, or one of them. There were several of the same ones around. And I spotted some laser discs. Um, unfortunately, I only picked up a couple, but none of them were worth reselling, so those go straight into a yard sale pile. <laughs> are just they're kind of like VHS tapes. You have to be genre specific. We're sealed. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. It's so dark in here. <laughs> oh my god, there's more clothing. everything. Wow. I, I'm overwhelmed with how much coffee is right. in here. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't even look, right? Yeah. It's like, whew. I love Hawaiian shirts, but I really, I like hard goods, but I haven't made it past the bedroom yet. <laughs> I, I mean, he had really cool stuff, but yeah. For sure. Just, uh, too much to... <sighs> yeah, he wasn't kidding when he said he could have fit this into two different weekends. Right. More cook streets. Uh, <laughs> I know. I can't even see what it is, really. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Oh, you too. And uh, American Liberty. That one is actually vintage. Oh, but you're right. There's so much. <laughs> Yeah, it's like if you have, I mean, look. Yeah, I came prepared today. And yeah. how many t shirts do I have at home? Right. 10,000. <laughs> anyway, nice. have a wonderful day. All right, you too. I'm going to trade the spots. I see more Hawaiian. They're all Cook Street. Well, they're all vintage, but oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. I know you want to see more than just clothing, and I will, I promise. I'm going to edit this down so I'm not boring you as much. 
That's vintage. It's very faded, but it's vintage. I'm just gonna grab all vintage. I mean, all the cook all the Hawaiian shirts are gone. Those of you who have followed me for a while know I have a thing for Hawaiian shirts, so... <laughs> I was looking for like a signature on this and I couldn't see one there, but there was one. It was just really faint. I just couldn't see it here. And this one's listed up on eBay right now. Right now, Duran Duran is playing in the background extremely loudly. Loudly. <laughs> loudy? Loudy. Trying to get to the back. Can't do it one handed, so I'm like, meh. Plus, I hadn't finished the inside, so I just kept going. I've had good luck with these small electronics, and this was a Sony, I think? I didn't. No, it wasn't a Sony, but I was still considering it until I saw the battery compartment. It's extremely corroded, so I'm like, I passed. I think it was a GE, anyways. Then I spotted this old digital camera, and it was a Sony. Was it, I wanna say a Mavica? I mean, this is how old it is. To store photos, it took a floppy disk. <laughs> that I put up on eBay, and that's sold, actually. You'll see some comps at the end of the video. It, it's, I think it's a, it looks like a, if I can get it open again. It looks like a little Polaroid. Oh! But I, I don't know for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, digital Mavica. I might get it. Let's see. Let's look at it. Try it. Oh, oh, there are books. Good. VW. Oh, it's really... I don't think I can get that clean, man. Let's poke my head in this one. Okay, we do have some books. Hmm. Oh, we got some more laser discs. Okay. It's unique. deep into a room and I find stuff and have to come back <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I 
don't want to put this on top of the table. Ooh. This one had a lot of interesting things. I was gonna pick this up, super heavy though, um, but I was really afraid of that, of shipping that, because I, that arm, I think would bust in transit. So I, I ended up passing on that. But I did pick this up, a little bit newer. Still vintage, technically. It works beautifully. All the hard goods from the sale I have up now. It's the clothing that I'm really behind on listing, so I have such a backlog of clothing. I'm looking for signatures. I really wasn't seeing anything. These shears, or scissors, um, when they're vintage like this, they can be worth some money, not a ton. But, you know, if you pick it up for a buck, you can flip it for like 10, 15, 20 bucks. That's, that's a good deal. And for some reason, I got fixated on this large type keyboard. <laughs> Um, as seen on TV, I thought, ooh, that'll sell. Mm. The seltzer rates are really bad, so that was a bad purchase. But again, I probably have a buck into it, so it's not a big deal. I'm balancing <laughs> stuff. That was a crack alert. <laughs> and I said this, I saw the soundboard, but he'd already, that was his. So I'm like, is this yours? He goes, yes. I'm like, uh. I loved all the VW stuff, especially all the car stuff on the ground on the uh, wall, but I'm like, how would I ship that? And a lot of them were just cutouts, but there was one up on the wall. It was, um, they had um, the thing, basically, and they had it in the garage, but it wasn't there that day. So I'm assuming they sold it, but I did buy this. Unfortunately, I, I, just, I looked online, have not figured out how if it's even sellable. So it's probably gonna be end, end up in a, uh, like a yard sale. <laughs> near you soon um, because I again with Mark's prices it's just a couple bucks into it even if I sell it for 10 or 20 bucks it's fine I don't know what it's worth I could not find anything online but it's a beautifully matted in frame piece <laughs> and then I spotted the Samsonite I don't know if it's a briefcase or a suitcase it's small when you open it up it looks like a briefcase it was really clean and in good shape so I did grab that. <laughs> then I discovered the garage. Well, it's still early. Oh my god, yeah, they have an organ too. This looks like a record player. It's like a cabinet. Maybe some of what my grandmother had. Nice to gain chairs. Anything? Oh, 
there's ties. Tammy told me to look for ties. Okay, we're growing. Take a duck through time. We got some vintage. These are actually I like the ones with patterns on them though. I'm tempted, but they don't have any kind of pattern on them. Ooh. taking over the entire table at this point. I spotted this uh, piece of art right here. I don't know if it's a sketch or, uh, or what, but it um, it's a Vargas. And um, me and Tammy wanted that for our pinup room. It was, it was beautiful. So I took a picture, sent it to Tammy, asked permission. And she's like, absolutely yes. But, as we'll find out later, I guess it's an original. It's a limited edition original, so there's several made of it. It was a little bit beyond our price range. More clothes, no! I wanted to know what kind of magazines these were, so I was checking them out. They ended up being mostly automobile stuff, and unfortunately, I've, and a lot of car magazines just don't sell. I, I got some from my dad's collection and they just don't sell. So I passed on those. I discovered a bunch of CDs in there, but nothing really. Ooh, leather. And I do pick up, you've seen on some garage sales, I will pick up leathers, but I didn't pick up these. <laughs> it's kind of a niche audience here. These were not motorcycle riders, let's just say that. <laughs> now, that was cool. It was a California chopper long sleeve shirt. Cool sleeve hat. A California chopper, San Francisco, California. So I picked that one up. Oh, I almost walked past that. Looking for more things like that, but don't believe I'm gonna find any. That's no, just randomly in here. This looks like a 
vintage ski jacket. Right? A little on the dirty side, right? Let's see. Made in Taiwan. It's medium, so it's not the greatest size. It's a little dirty. I mean, I'm sure that'll come off in a wash, but... Oh, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted. Because I've had ski stuff do well for me in the past. Huh. You know, again, for most prices, I can't say no. So let me grab that. And... More ties. Oh, Tammy, you should have come. I'm gonna get just a few. No, she wants that. I'm thinking about buying the big one. I'm waiting for someone to oh, okay. so text me back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm tempted, but I'm. Oh, okay. I'm, no, no, I'm asking permission. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, let me find out how much it is. Um, yeah, please. Yeah, That'd be okay. awesome. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> More clothing. I still gotta go outside. Have another look at stuff. Goldschlager. This feels... That's an old big bear hat. another trip out to the front to drop off everything. When I spotted these mold, I was just walking by and I saw these. Really heavy cast iron mold. And it's vintage, so I picked that up. All the entrances were blocked, so I had to get creative getting... I need a way back out to the front. Uh, 800, or, well, sorry, no, 1500. 1500 for the pain? Okay. I'll probably have to pass on that one. <laughs> it's gorgeous, though. spotted a stack of yearbooks right here, and I know yearbooks sometimes can sell. I don't know why I didn't pick up the war cry. Maybe the condition wasn't there. Um, looks like there was water damage actually on that. So I passed on that, but I did pick up one of them. It was a Fullerton College one from the 60s. I have not had a chance to list that yet. That one is coming soon. That one. That one I, did, I grabbed. It's uh, 1966. probably go through it and look at all the pictures before I list it. It's, it's just in my pile right now. To be listed pile. <laughs> I was looking for more, um, but I, I couldn't find any that were in. Um, yeah. I don't know why. There was other ones I could have taken and I probably should have taken, but that's all right. This is my first venture into um, reselling um, yearbooks. Go into the outside, away from the loud music, so I can go back to the live feed. <laughs> it's blasting um, Tainted Love right now. <laughs> My allergy thread really bugging me about this point. <laughs> so I apologize when I go back to the live feed if I'm like sniffling all the time. Oh, by 
Getting dust up my nose. If I had a room, I'd grab one of these for video games. Wow. Oh my. down here. Old photos. Yeah. Checking out the kitchen. Not having much luck in the kitchen, other than that mold. Although I did see somebody with Pyrex, like, that I'm, that they went straight for that before I, um, before I got to it. Definitely got a lot more crowded in here. It was pretty empty when I first got there. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. All right, so I gotta ask him. So when, you, when, you, when you're looking at the red tag, when you're looking at the tag of Levi's, Levi's is gonna be... Uh, Broken zipper. Let's do this. that. Darn it. It's going to be hard to carry. I'm going to grab my dolly. As fast as you can. So I am packing this up right now. A little bit by little bit. This is a cart that I got for work, and then work liked it so much they bought us all new ones. So I'm gonna do this in one trip, maybe. Maybe being the keyword. I had to beat a bunch of people off of this. They liked this. Um, they liked what I picked up, and they kept picking through my pile. I'm like, oh, that's mine. Uh, so. Comes to worst, I can just drape this over my. Oh, I know what I could do. I could put those in here. Let's do this. Don't know how vintage that is, but it's uh, it is old. Let's do this. This is going to be tricksy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't wear these anymore, but I'll show you that this would fall off normally, but we have these bungee cords. That's right here. 
And latch right here. This isn't moving. Well, I still have to balance it correctly. Let's put this here. Why not? This should fit. Can't believe I'm doing this in one trip. It's, well, two trips technically. I went to go get the stuff. Hmm. I don't know if I can get this on the top. Almost. Okay. How about 150 for everything? And let me give you a pass to go Just give it to me when you get back. Okay. Ooh. Probably be about 20 minutes. Look at that. I did. What? I don't know how, but I did. <laughs> All right, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. This is the fun part. Come on, don't break on me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. It's, whoa. it's a great cart, but <laughs> stairs are always a challenge. Come on, one more. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's still tons of stuff. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> Pardon? Casual cart. Uh, it's Casher. I think he does the Zell and oh, Venmo Zell? stuff too. Yeah. yeah. We're listing a little bit to the right, but I think we'll make it. I haven't been sourcing in at least a month. You wouldn't know it because I know my videos are more recent than that. But it's still August. It's still too hot really to go sourcing out here. But this is going to set me up for quite some time. <laughs> As to Tattoo Mark always does this. Always does, you know. It, you know, not all the sales are home runs, but this one definitely was. I don't know about the Lone Star Saloon, if it's going to be worth anything, so I picked up some of them. Um, but I know some of the other stuff is going to be worth money. And some are personals. That painting you saw earlier, I don't know if it's a painting or a print. It's an original, and they were asking, like, over $1,000 for it. And we actually wanted that for us. But we're like, yeah, it's a little bit beyond our price. <laughs> we're cheap. <laughs> Okay. Can't believe I fit it all in there. That, I'm going to use that from now on to every estate sale I go to. I'm sweating like I've been at work all day. What the heck? So that was a nice estate sale. It's been a while since I've been to a good one like that. So I'm, I'm happy. Um, it's going to really fill me up. I'm already overloaded on my death pile. I've been making progress all summer, but this is going to set me back. <laughs> That's okay. I'm stockpiling for fourth quarter, right? But um, that's all I have for you today. If you like this kind of content, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. It's free. And uh, always click like down below. Did I miss anything? I always like to know if I've missed stuff. There was so much stuff in there. I, I don't doubt that I missed something really valuable. Um, and failing that, what was your favorite item? All right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for coming along. Bye.